Standing up for human rights at the expense of profit, antithetical to the tenets of capitalism. Where would you say human rights begin and capitalism ends? Well, Armin, I think I, you would have a much stronger opinion on this than me. Or well informed, I'll say. So go ahead. I, I, I don't I don't think that's um I don't think that's the right question. I mean capitalism is a it's a myth a method in which you is, is a system in which the economy of a, of a society is run by it you know it's a tool for you to for you to optimize the economic system human rights i mean is a separate issue i mean they have influence on each other but but it's a separate issue like it's 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 almost as if asking how does i don't know like is it what does electrical engineering um well what does electrical engineering have to say about human rights and when does electrical engineering start and human rights like i think it's almost the the difference is that human rights uh, that capitalism has an effect on human rights um usually a positive right um because capitalism is I mean, I'm in favor of regulated capitalism and regulated capitalism. Capitalism is the best way of enriching people and people's if individuals have higher economic power, they're in a better position to fight for their human rights. Right. And if you can find system in which the relative economic power of individual increases relative to the economic power of the people who are controlling their lives, whether that be monopolies or the state, then those individuals are able to demand more from their for the people from the people uh, that are in charge of them um, and get more human rights. Right. So in that way, it is more like more in line, you know, but there's no tenants. Like, I don't think there's a tenants of capitalism. You know, the, capitalism is talking about people's it's about trade. It's about economic. It's about bargaining. It's about um, economic system. A human rights is a it's a separate. It's it's a related but separate topic. All right. So you could use capital as I think like you could use capitalism as a way to um, you know encourage to give power to the individual, and by giving power to the individual, you then will get more human rights. So you could talk think about it that way. But there's no direct, um, there's no direct you know, like tenets of capitalism that speaks about human rights, right? It talks about people's economic power, right? So I don't think like I don't think the question, you know, wh where would you say human rights begin and capitalism ends? Yeah, I think the question needs to be addressed because capitalism is not about, even though it's related, it has an effect on human rights. It's not about human rights. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think what Asian American might be getting at is saying, like, why don't we just, you know, why um, maximize exploitation for capital? Like, if See, as if that's the yep, only but, ideology the people operate off of. That's the impression so, that I got. Well, capitalism is not like a moral judgment on, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's not like it's a it's more of a descriptive like this is how you would get the most economic benefit right if you want to if you want to if we notice at some points that human rights and that uh, human rights is contradicting the you know for example we have to um we have to give up on some um, economic progress for the sake of human rights. If like, if we see that as there's examples of a contradiction here, right. Then we could choose to do less capitalism for the sake of human rights. That doesn't mean that the principles of capitalism does not apply. That means that it's kind of like a knife, right? You could use a knife to do surgery, but if it's doing harm, you could just decide to stop using it. Like that's why we're in favor of regulated capitalism because mm -hmm. there are times where capitalism is not giving us the results that we want. Right? That doesn't mean, 
you know what I mean? Like there's nothing within the prince, like our understanding of capitalism that tells you that you have to keep using it. You know what I mean? Like just because it works, it doesn't mean just because it's such a powerful tool. It doesn't mean that you have to use it all the time. If you, if it's, if, if in, if there's a higher priority, like it's kind of like, it reminds me of um, religious people talking about evolution, right? They're saying like, well, if we learn in evolution that the survival of the fittest is about the survival of the fittest, then why wouldn't we, if you believe in evolution, then why wouldn't you just, you know, I don't want to use the word because you two might be sensitive about it. Why wouldn't you just eliminate weak people? right why wouldn't you just eliminate handicapped people right or like well evolution is a fact of nature that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that we are, it's a good thing you know what i mean that doesn't that mean we that, maximize it no that doesn't mean that we think it's it's not it's not a moral judgment of what it should what things should be like it's a descriptive it's a descriptive it's describing how things are right not how things should be, you know what I mean? Like, this is not a moral judgment. It's not a model on how to run society, right? So in the same way, capitalism is like, it's an acknowledgement that this is, this will get you the most economic uh, return, right? On things, if you abide by these rules, right? But it doesn't tell you that you have to do it all the time, right? It just tells you like, this is how you get the most fa fastest economic growth, Right. You don't want economic growth here because I don't know, it's just like destroying nature or it's doing this and this and that. Like, okay, well, you could regulate it. You don't have to use it here. It doesn't, it doesn't contradict the fact that this will give you the fastest growth, right? So again, when you when you're talking about capitalism, you're describing, you know, you're not making a moral judgment on how things ought to be. You just want like if you want economic growth, this is how you get it, right? Um, if you violate something else that you care about more than economic growth, then use it less. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think you answered that very well. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.